Well, hello, everybody. Eddie Smith here with Country Road Entertainment. Welcome to our first ever podcast and uh, actual live feed. Uh, we actually went live once, maybe a year and a half ago, but not like this, not like this at all. So in an effort to um, comply with uh, social distancing, obviously we can't really go out and vlog or do any on-site interviews like we generally do. So with that in mind, we're going to be doing some of these from now on. And today, as you can see in the description, we have a special guest. I'm going to go ahead and bring him on now. Many of you are probably familiar with Nathan Dean, the damn band, and more so their infamous drummer, Bill Bogan. So let's bring him on. Hey, Bill. How you doing, man? Uh-oh. Hey, Eddie. Audio problems. Oh, there you are, buddy. So how is uh, social distancing? I'm good. I'm good. How, how does it feel to be alone all the time good. now? I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a people person. <laughs> Next two of us. Right? How long has it been for you? Oh, man. When we got back from Denver, everything, everything kind of shut down. So it's been two weeks, two and a half weeks. Oh, yeah, that's great. Like Walmart. Tell us about that. So you were actually scheduled to be performing at the grizzly rose when all this started right right we were playing we were actually uh we were doing we play a week up there and we were uh we were you know they went and finished the week when we were there but they had started started to trim things down okay and then you also had shows after that i think in where wyoming yeah we we're supposed to go to uh supposed to go to jackson hole wyoming which is one of my favorite spots this time of year they have so much going on up there and uh you know it just they canceled the canceled the big event and everything just trickled down after that and people just weren't going out so they canceled that we came home now they closed everything down though in wyoming period at jackson hole right like the ski resort everything's down right? yeah jackson hole was pretty much shut down for yeah. sure yeah. yeah so have you been have you been isolating ever since you got back or were you out a little bit after you got back uh, I've pretty much been isolated. I mean, like I said, I've run to Walmart or fries or whatever for buys, but uh, other than that, I've stayed in pretty much. Oh, uh, yeah, it's yeah, I, I can't even remember the last time I left the house, apparently, because yeah. of my chest issues, they considered me at risk. It's kind of, uh, well, yeah, yeah, you have to be extremely careful. Yeah, you do, you really do. Um, I mean, it's not something I want to play with anyway, but you know. Right. You know, it is what it is. So in the meantime, what are you yeah. doing to keep yourself busy? Uh, watching Tiger King, apparently. Is what the... <laughs> Tiger King. What is that all about anyway? I mean, I, I saw oh like Brittany Burns said something about it when she was advertising her, her, um, their live stream. And yeah. then I heard something about, was it a, is it a documentary or what is it? It's a docu series. It's like about this guy named Exotic Joe, and he's got a uh, exotic animal farm down in I think it's in Florida. Anyway, but he has a rivalry with a another um, another zoo down there. Okay, and uh, he's just very very eccentric and very uh, very weird to be honest with you. But uh, he uh, winds up hiring somebody to kill the competitor it's just crazy there's so many twists and turns i can't even start to explain it it's the best worst documentary you'll ever watch <laughs> really yeah it's it's so bad but you can't look away i mean of all the <laughs> things that we could watch or binge watch it's okay it's gonna be that yeah. i don't know i, right. I <laughs> i've been trying to just keep up with like picard and oh was it last night i decided i was going to start re-watching firefly if anyone remembers that it's like sci-fi oh, wow. yeah, cool. yeah i have every episode yeah. so like yeah well we'll, we'll go nice. through this again yeah i've been uh, doing a lot of netflix and amazon and uh a little bit of hulu but and i take it there's no drum pack practice at your home huh uh yeah i've set them up and practice a little bit yeah i've oh, got some uh, i've got some silent heads that uh remo makes they're wool i can hit them and uh won't be any noise made so well, that's not bad. You messing around with the cahoon? 
No, I don't have that here. That's uh, that's with the band equipment. Oh, okay. In the garage. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. I got. Oh, I'm sorry. I touched my face. Oh, you did it too. I washed before. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Wash your hands, folks. Wash your hands. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all done. the things that we should have been time. doing already everyone's doing now and you know i was thinking to myself because everyone's talking about this toilet paper thing right were they not washing yeah. butts before i mean what were they using i mean did or do they really honestly right. use yeah. two years it's worth of tp big, big, big. i mean I, I just i don't understand. right you know i got four kids and we yeah. barely had enough and we found like a, a couple of six packs and i felt like i just won the lottery right <laughs> it's, it's it's a joke it's really it's just you know I don't know what started the paper or the toilet paper sensation, but people are going to have a lot of toilet paper for a long time to come. Well, and the biggest joke with that is that they even came on after the fact on the news and they said, here's a list of the things not to buy. And it was toilet paper, food you wouldn't normally eat, you know, fancy cleaning, right. all this crap that they went right. and bought. And I'm like, well, why didn't you tell them that two weeks ago? You know, right. and I've always been, a, I've always been kind of like the stalker guy and, uh, you know, my wife and I had a disagreement about it beforehand and, uh, she told me that I was overreacting by the whole, I'm like, and I kept telling her, I'm like, there's not going to be anything there. And like within five days of me saying that, that's when the crazy started. And then she comes home from the store. Really? There's yeah. I mean, literally, and, you know, and I was <laughs> always prepare, keep the fridge stock right. you know what's going to happen. And I, I mean, I grew up in like you get snowed in for three days. So you need it to have food and supplies. Yeah. So, right. You know, well here we don't get snowed in in Arizona, but we get virus in apparently. Right. Yeah. I've always been, right. a, I'm not a much of a weekly shopper. I'm like a day to day guy, but, uh, that's, uh, the virus has changed that I'm a, a weekly shopper now that I have limits. <laughs> right. Oops, I forgot to pull up the chat over here. Oh, Kit's in the chat. I now feel like I need a third screen if I'm going to do this because I got two chats going on over here. So <laughs> for, for, for the the few of you that are in, um, feel free if you have any questions for Bill or even me, feel free to ask. We're going to be on here just shooting the breeze here for yeah. a little bit before the band start playing. Yeah. Actually, and Bill, if you want, um, go ahead and if you want to go in the chat and send me, do you have a, uh, like a, a Venmo or a PayPal link? Um, like I the do. other band? Yeah. yeah, go ahead and send that over and I'll, we'll go ahead and put that on the screen for you too. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Let me look it up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if any of you are new to Country Road, um, our main mission has always been um, to support local live music. So, with everything that's going on right. now we have changed years as you know bill would know and uh we actually literally yeah. did take our facebook group and it's li literally it's an online honky tonk right now and we're encouraging people to check it out because um all the musicians are putting up um basically like their own virtual tip jars um those of us in the music industry and i say us because i do this full time i do this for a living now as a creator right uh, yeah. The bands, a lot of these guys, this is what they do full time. So, and you know, yeah. uh, if you love them and you appreciate them, you know, you know, you know, help them out. Let's see here. Oh, okay. You texted that over here. Let me pull that up real quick. Yeah, I did. It. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I think it crashed. Check over here. Okay, so just oh, so you're on Venmo, right? Give me just a moment here. Yeah. Let's see here. Well, let me edit um, our ticker. It's going to disappear for a second. Uh, yeah, to tell all your friends that you're going to be uh, online today. I did. You did. All two of them, right? No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm seriously, I'm joking. Both of them. Yeah, they both know. 
mom and my brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, so I gotta ask. I, I I've talked to a handful of musicians, but going going forward. So I mean, has like how far out of has your gigs been canceled? Well, we were going to go on the road until the end of May. So, up uh, you know, all of our Phoenix gigs are obviously canceled until they open back up. So, uh, right now, you know, everything's shut down. So we were booked up. Uh, we had stuff going through August and September, you know, like the Sturgis Rally and stuff like that. We were working on so yeah, pretty much right now the entire summer's out. Well, yeah, I, I have to check the calendar for the boys over at Highway 260. But the last time time I checked, we were just you know post for March. But I'm going to assume we're done for April and May as well. Yeah, you know. This is it's this is a tough time for everybody, and I, I just hope you know. And and a lot there's a couple of people out there I know that disagree with the whole thing. I don't know how you can disagree with it, but I mean, unless we stay home, um, it ain't going away. You right. Know? I mean, just you know, practice social distancing, make good decisions. You know, stay home and drink. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, thank you. There we go. Well, man, this stupid thing. I'm trying to figure this out here. I'm trying to add the third ticker. Uh, it no work. Okay, I'm going to do this. We are going to come back here. Just want everyone to see it as they're coming in here. Yeah. Uh, here. So it doesn't like the third banner. That's okay. So we're going to do this. Here, by there we go so everybody if you you pop in you know uh bill bogan is a phenomenal drummer and he does do this full time um uh just like i'm a i'm full time with country road and things are a little tight for everybody right now and unfortunately bill hasn't been able to or had the opportunity to do any live streams so if you can spare a couple of bucks send them you know and you're on venmo uh, you can find him at Bill Bogan, and I'm sure he'd love it. Um, yeah, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for sharing that. Absolutely, man. You know we love you. Not to not to show any like favoritism or anything. I mean, I love all the musicians here, but um, all right, <laughs> my kids actually call Bill Uncle Bill. So yeah, it, it seemed only appropriate that he. Um, would be our first guest here. Uh, if, if any of you actually have been following country road for the last three years, Bill is, uh, we have two frequent guests on our channel and on Facebook as well. And Bill Bogan would be the number one most frequent guest. As a matter of fact, we did a, him and I did an interview together. What was it at bourbon Jacks a couple years bourbon ago? Jacks, yeah. 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 And that was, <laughs> That thing went nuts for like 48 hours. I mean, it was like nonstop. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was a yeah. fun interview. That was a good time. Oh, man. Yeah, it went, like, I think I had like, I don't know, six beers during that interview. <laughs> that was funny. Like, my wife is manning the camera. You know, this is before I actually right. thought of maybe yeah. we should hook the thing up to raw power. So she's manning the camera. And she's just, nice. and then ours is handing her the beers. Oh, and you remember there was like a good 15 minutes we kept going and she was trying to signal oh, yeah. us that we were out of battery. <laughs> so we didn't even have it. All that footage was gone. It was, it looked like it was we fine. Kept but, going. You know, but if, if only she could have given us a, you know, a way to, um, to, uh, to know, you know, that she was, uh, right. uh you know, <laughs> she tried, but we just weren't paying attention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a fun day. Oh yeah, that was good times. Oh wow! So in here we have, um, well, we have a whole bunch of people in here from all over the world. It looks like in one of these chat rooms, and nice. this guy, um, well, I'm apparently I'm moderating the the chat myself. And you, sir, are gone. So for those of you who are coming in through um, the app itself and watching, if you're not civil, uh, I'm going to block you. <laughs> so right. we just, I have now, 
I have now kicked a couple people. Okay. Uh, happy anniversary. Okay. Um, I have no idea who these people are. That's awesome. Let's <laughs> see. Here we go. Um, yeah, I, I <laughs> oh, they're probably coming in through. Yeah, I have no idea where they're coming from. Hey guys, I'm sorry. I only speak Spanish and some bad uh, Spanish and bad Polish. So <laughs> no idea what these. So we got some, uh, maybe we have some trolls in here. I don't know. Got some trolls. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you, so like, you know, I, I help moderate for um, agenda free TV, which is like a, like a news network on YouTube. And these yeah. people come in like hordes from 4chan and from um, really? Reddit just to troll them. Oh, it's brutal. It's just horrible, you know. <laughs> just awful. <laughs> and just got another block here. Oh, wow. Well. Well, that's what happens when you go uh, live. So we got Kit over here saying hi. Oh, yeah. Hey, Kit. What's up, Kit? Yeah, Kit's, Kit's got, um, I'll go ahead and mention, he, he's with uh, Donnie Grubb Band, and they actually do a cool podcast, and him and I were going back and forth. We've been planning this thing. I don't even know how long now. We, I mean, I want to say before last summer we started planning it, we wanted to go live in September. And of course, yeah. we finally make the jump to um, to get everything together right before all this started. So you know, right. once once I got put into like you know self whatever isolation, I was like, well, I can't exactly go out and vlog anymore. I can't shoot the bands, and I still got to work. So it seemed rather can you know convenient right. to have everything here. It's like okay, let's do this. That's a great idea. Oh, it's, it, it, I, I, you know, I hope it goes well. This seems kind of fun. You know, we're social distancing, bro. It's going to be okay. Right. <laughs> right. We're more than six feet. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully, well, at least now we don't have to worry about running out of battery during the interview. I just still can't get over that. I mean, it had to be a good right. 15, 20 <laughs> minutes before we got the hint that the camera died. So, yeah. so I mean, I think we were meant to do like a 10 minute interview. We got 20 some minutes of footage and we went for almost 40 minutes. Yeah. We just kept talking. And mm -hmm. drinking, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is fine. Yeah. So for those of you joining, um, be sure to, uh, on the YouTube side, be sure to subscribe. Uh, and that's uh, youtube.com forward slash country road entertainment and give us a like, you know, show us that you care. We appreciate it. Yep. Definitely. Wow. We, man, we are getting trolled hard, man. Uh, people talking Saturday about afternoon, nobody can go anywhere. I guess. I mean, it's, you know, it's a, it's a rough time. I get it. Yeah. But, you know, people are talking some weird stuff. Okay. Here's, we are alien. My friend, we are coming to take you guys. I'm not even going to re finish reading that bro, <laughs> but you've been kicked so long. <laughs> know, let's see here. And I don't know what that means, but you're gone too. Hey, this is just as fun. Let's just get rid of trolls. Okay. <laughs> you know? And kick. Yeah. See, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's uh, the, the people come into these live streams all the time and they just go after everybody. And it's like, do you have anything else to do? I, I just don't get it. Right. No, they don't. That's the only thing they have. It's what makes them feel strong. Keyboard warriors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting called names in here. It's brutal. Hey, Rich Adams just joined. Awesome. What's up, Rich? Rich, aren't you going um, live tonight or something on, uh, on a, a stream? Let's see if he responds. It just shows that he's joined. Okay. 
No. Okay. He says no. I can't even show it. Big fat no okay. from Rich Adams. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. maybe. Now he's going maybe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rich is a good guy. I like Rich. Yeah, Rich is awesome. Yeah. A lot of talent here in the valley. You know, we're you know, we're really fortunate. Um, you know, everyone talks about the Nashville machine as I call it. And Nashville's great and all. It has a lot of it has its own, you know, quirks, you know, and, you know, you look around the valley, yeah. I mean, you know, your band, you got like Rich Adams, you got Marble Heart. I mean, even the, the, the new guys on the block highway 260 band that I de deal with, um, you know, we, we got a lot out here. Yeah. What yeah. do we got? Young country, uh, muggy on. I mean, I could go on and on, Josh Roy. I mean, I'm sure somebody's sitting at home and are yeah. going to see this video go, well, he didn't mention my name. Sorry, guys. Right. <laughs> uh, we gave him, oh, we already shouted out Donny Grubb. I love Donny Grubb. <laughs> you know. Anyhow, so, all right, so, you know, so we're all in isolation, so you practice the drums a little bit. What else are you doing? I mean, the other day we were going to do this yesterday and something came up and I was like, we're self isolating. How much could come up <laughs> to get some. So, like, so I'm literally sitting here in the office cause I had everything ready to go. And I'm like, something, what the hell could possibly come up right now? We just like nothing going on. <laughs> Things still pop up. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so is there any possibility we're going to see you in a live stream coming up with everyone else doing the virtual concert thing now? I don't know. You know Probably not until the isolation stuff's over. Well, I mean, you know, at least some... fortunately, we don't have to, um, uh, like, like they're not like enforcing anything really. Like a, they're not going to pull you over and give you a, a ticket. You right. Know? Yeah. 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 But we obviously don't want it to get to that point. So self isolation right now is best for everybody. I think. Rich is naming a few Western Fusion, Brian Childress, <laughs> Ethan Newman. Oh my gosh, Ethan Newman! If he was on here, that this would be hysterical. Right. Where is that? Actually, we could send him an invite right now and bring him on. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Ethan's mad at me. Is he what he's mad at you? Yeah, I uh, I posted so much about Tiger King that him and his wife had to decide they had to watch it. So <laughs> he blamed me for that. What <laughs> oh man. So Kirsten wants to watch it now? Yeah, I think they started it last night. That's funny. So he's not really mad, but he was making fun of it. Rich is all he's still working somehow. What do you mean he's still working, Rich? I got a half of my hey, Rich, if you want to jump in here, um seems like you got a lot to say. We'll send you a link. Yeah. We can banter up until everyone starts playing tonight. And again, for those of you watching that are local here, um, on the online honky tonk currently on live country music in Arizona. Uh, we'll be sharing a bunch of shows tonight from local acts and uh, we're um, just um, kind of having some fun right right now uh, before they get started today. And remember if, uh, if you can support Bill Bogan on Ven Venmo at Bill hyphen Bogan. Actually here, I'm going to go ahead and send, I say more the merrier. Oh, wait a minute. He has a two-year-old that doesn't stop making noise. I have so many things I could say. Okay, so this is his reply to that. Okay. <laughs> I have so many responses to that right now, Rich. I really, really do. But that's okay. I digress. All right. What do you been say, Busy? 
you're looking at it man so i've been working on the studio coming up with new content uh trying to figure out how we're going to do this actually we may or may not still do a second channel but given the fact that i really can't do our normal music vlogs yeah. um, there's only so much vlogging i can do around the house so we'll probably do be doing these right. for a while um but you know that and you know the kids have been here so i've been kind of playing um you know dad slash uh y'all need to like do something constructive and educational so like teacher right you know and then i don't sleep much so i tend to like you know would clean the house in the middle of the night my wife seems to like that part yeah it's funny we were texting the other night at like i don't know we were texting at like one and i posted something on facebook at like three and you sent me a text like do you ever sleep i'm like you're awake the same time i am. right yeah i was wide awake i was i was here in the office doing my thing what do we got here oh let's see robert toner joined. yeah I, I i honestly don't sleep all that much anymore and and it was, what was it the yeah. first day that i was talking about this you're like no nah, man i'm just now settling into the night i'm like so you're all relaxed perfect let's go <laughs> let's do this right oh nate's in there let, let me let me uh send an invite to nate see, see if he's interested I, I love the banter here this is great <laughs> for those of you just joining this is our very first um live podcast we're going to be doing stuff like this for a little while just because we want to maintain that uh social uh distancing nate check your messages so um but yeah this is a, this is a lot of fun here yeah nate if you just click on that you can pop in and uh banter so again if you're watching go ahead and say hello if you have any questions for bill um if you care about anything we're doing you can ask me a question it's fine too but i do see we got people from uh all over the world now yeah. i hear background noise it sounds like a, is that a what what is that coming from your end i don't hear anything oh okay <laughs> Wow, these trolls are brutal. So I don't I don't know if Nate's gonna try or not. So all right, so we're we're in this boat. So you said when was your possibility of another show? You're talking like the like July. You know, we don't know. We're up and mm -hmm. up in the air until you know things are lifted and people can go back outside. Well, and you know that the um supposedly and, and i qualify as well so musicians contractors and things of that nature supposedly i mean whether or not we agree with it we're probably going to need it supposedly they're going to have assistance for all of us right so even though like we're contractors yeah, for say we can actually file for this plan where they give us a certain amount over like whatever the unemployment right. is here is you can't because nobody's yeah, working I saw Brian Childers post about that. yeah that's where i saw it i was reading up on it Uh, Rich says hello. I like so you, hey, if, if you can see the chat, it's like every few seconds he or every minute or two he sends another message through. Oh yeah, like here we go. <laughs> uh, it's just like he's right here with us, just chit chatting along. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't see any questions. I just see lots of trolls and rich making jokes. AZ plus. Okay. Yeah, he's right. So this is what I was reading. Um, yeah. AZ. So 600 plus AZ mini employ, unemployment, just 200. So roughly about 800 per week is what I think they're proposing. Yeah. Oh, here's a message from Rona Power. Hey, Rona. How you doing? So Rona says that she's yeah, at, too. 
So you know Rona Perra? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, Rona's a good, big supporter of ours for a long time up in Denver. Excellent. Yeah, she's been around. We've been playing Denver for 11 years. I think she's been around for nine of them. Wow. Excellent. Always come to see us big. Sad we missed you too, Rona. Yeah, thanks for the message, Rona. Oh, Rich has got another message. When the cheer old goes and does something else. <laughs> Yeah, well, Rich, I don't have a, well, Rich, I don't have a day job, so. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, another message from Rona. So she says she's hanging at the house, and she said yes, she has. Good. All right. So those are good chatters. I can appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Well, while we're waiting, yeah, for it was weird up in Denver, man. It was watching the, you know, normally as the week goes on, the crowds increase, but this last time it was weird to watch them decrease. As a, you know, Thursday's usually a big night, and Tuesday, Wednesday, the news was leaking out, and then Thursday came, and it was just like barren. Now, for, did they shut? But did they shut down the bars and restaurants, or did they shut down everything in Denver? Uh, when we were there, it was just the bars and restaurants. Okay. Now I think it's everything. They tried to shut down the dispensaries and liquor stores. And that lasted for. Oh, we got a question from Rich. This is actually kind of, this is actually not a bad question. Rich is asking, what's your favorite gig? Oh, man. I have two, actually. I have the uh, Grizzly Rose in Denver. Uh, it's a favorite because it's one of the bigger gigs we play and uh it's always got a national act we're always open up for somebody there on friday night so that's always fun and then uh my 1a would be uh million dollar cowboy up in jackson hole it's uh it's such a tourist town and such a party town it's so much fun to go up there and hang out and We've got a uh, a good fan base up there with the locals, and and it's, like I said, it's always a tourist town, so there's always new people coming in and new people traveling through. So that's a favorite. Those two are my two favorites. Rona just popped in too. Thank you, Rona. So she said, "Watch the YouTube from that saloon. That was a fun fun trip. Need to go back to Prescott. Now was that um, on Nathan's?" Uh, Nathan D and the Dam Band, Bill or Bill's feed, or was that from Country Roads? Because Country uh, Road, we just was, did your... it was that mine. Okay, yeah, it was probably your. Yeah, I mean, she oh, came and... to see us play in Prescott, but I think she's talking about your video okay. you just did for the Country Road Entertainment. Yeah, so that one went up the what a few days ago, and then we just posted the uncut interview of one of the bartenders. Uh, which yeah. was actually, that was kind of fun. You know, we figured we'd highlight a bartender for, yeah. you know, this, all the bartenders, everyone in the service industry, they, I mean, they, um, they work so hard and, you know, I'm oh, like, yeah. we're, we're always interviewing and featuring the bands and maybe the venue at a higher level, but how often do we actually sit down and chat with the people that are busting their butt to make you happy when you're actually watching the band? Right. So, you know, that was kind yeah. of a fun opportunity. Uh, Rona says they're mostly shut down now in Denver. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about the traffic because, man, is it just horrible there? I mean, that transit system in Denver is the pits. Right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, Country Roads. So, yeah, that was so she saw the vlog. Hey, well, thanks for uh, watching, Rona. Um, if you haven't, be sure to sub. I, I, I don't know if you've subscribed to us, be sure to do so. We appreciate it. This is uh, this is literally this is what I do full time, um, as I was saying earlier, and um, temporarily just to keep videos going. You know, we want to keep you know supporting everyone. You'll be seeing some yeah. videos like this a lot coming up. We are. Rona uh, just recently got engaged. When uh, big congratulations. She did. Congrats, Rona. Good for you. Yeah. We're happy for you. 
my poor wife, we celebrate our first wedding anniversary. Then this all happens. We haven't had a break since the day we got engaged. It's like, seriously, like if you watch a chunk of, um, I don't know if you caught the last episode, but I finally sat down and explained because my, my daughter tells me to be more transparent as a vlogger. I'm like, okay. So we had this gap and she's like, explain to them why, why it is that there's, you know, there was this time lapse. So I'm telling, telling them and I'm sitting here and I, I'm, as I'm talking to the camera, I'm like, literally since like a month before we got um, married, maybe two, it's like, as soon as we booked the wedding at Rawhide, it's been nonstop downhill ever since. I mean, the best <laughs> thing that happened is, I mean, literally the best thing that happened, I mean, granted we got married and I have these two wonderful stepchildren, um, but the best thing that happened right. is you know, us getting our house. And it was actually a, a year ago um, yesterday, I think it was, or the day before that we actually closed on the house. So, you know. Oh, really? Well, happy anniversary. Very oh, thank cool. Well, big shout out to Cheryl Willis, or many know her as Shay Willis from Go Chandler. I mean, it was it was crazy. She really uh, busted her butt to get that done, and actually, we'll be uh, having her on as a guest here uh, pretty soon, uh, as soon as we can get that scheduled. Let's see here. Oh, I love it. Hey, thanks, Rona. Rona says that she uh, she subscribed. She supports friends. We appreciate that. Nice. Thank you, Rona. You know she does support her friends. She's always there for us. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denver's been big for us. I, you know, I'll tell you something. That when I was up there filming y'all back in November, that was that was a great trip. I mean, I still remember where you know. Yeah. You're getting ready, and I'm getting my camera rig all set up, and I walk on stage be behind you. And at that point, it, it wasn't even full capacity, but it was so it was so electric. My heart, I'm telling you, felt like it was just going to come right out right. of my chest. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Our concert nights are a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, it's always fun to play there, but you know, just because it's Denver, we have a pretty good fan base there, and we have a lot of friends up there, and they come see us. But those uh, national acts are just one of a kind especially that night open for lee bryce twice that weekend was something else no yeah that, well you did that both saturday and sunday right yeah 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 and how was the uh the show on sunday because i i was i was on a plane by i don't know or something yeah you left afternoon yeah. yeah it was good it wasn't as full as saturday night but it was a uh, still a good crowd you know sunday night's family night so Quite a uh, age difference from Saturday night, but still a good time. Now, is that normally family night, or was that a special thing? Because I, I remember Lee was originally only scheduled, I thought, for one night. Right. Uh, that is Sunday night is always family night. The Grizzly Rose there in Denver. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that. Hey, yeah, Lisa. Call it all age. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, it's fine. They call it all ages night, just saying, you know, it's uh, anybody from whatever age literally can come in that night. And uh, they're very strict about about the, enforcing the age, obviously. Now, Saturday, they were you know, max capacity. Well, they had close to 2,200 people. How many do you reckon was in there on Sunday? That's my question. Uh, on a normal Sunday or the Lee Bryce Sunday when he was there? Well, let's just say Lee Bryce Sunday. How about, how big was it? Lee Bryce Sunday was probably fourteen hundred. Oh, really? That's really not bad for yeah, a Sunday. So it's still oh no, not at all. No, okay, that's awesome. What's the average Sunday then? Maybe five eight hundred. Probably between eight and a thousand. Between eight hundred and a thousand. Really? So yeah. I, I can't remember what night it was, and I was like, I was talking to someone because it turned out. Um, a friend of mine was actually in there that night and I didn't, um, didn't see him. Um, his name is Paul. And, uh, you know, I was like, I don't know how I missed you. There was like 50 people in there. He's like, what are you crazy? He was like, there was two or 300 people in there. I'm like, there was, it, it's the place <laughs> is so big that you can't, I mean, for those of you who've never yeah. been to the Grizzly Rose, it's hard to explain other than it's, it's massive. 
And yeah, they can stuff in over 2000 people in there and it's so spread out that you're looking around and you, it doesn't really seem like some nights there's a whole lot of people in there, but there is, right? you know, I mean, I, I mean that Friday yeah, I night it had to be by, well, we, I don't think we, did we stay until we didn't stay until closing that Friday night, did we? Uh, pretty think, close. No, it was I, pretty close. You played till 11 or 12 and I left around this. I think I left with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the chatter slowed down here. Let me see here. Uh, let's see. Just looking at the chat rumors real quick. So again, here we're live with Bill Bogan from Nathan D and the Dan Band. Um, and if you feel so inclined, be sure to, uh, if you're a fan, um, give them some, show them some support and love at Venmo at Bill Half Life and Bogan. And be sure to check us out on uh, Facebook, Country Road Entertainment, YouTube um, at youtube.com forward slash Country Road Entertainment. And we are also on Patreon. And we appreciate those likes and those subscribes. It, knows, it makes us know that, you know, you care. At least we hope you care. I mean, I don't know. Right. <laughs> After over three years of doing this and we're still around, I, I'm assuming some people do. And, and hey, Rona follows us, so that's awesome. You know, that's someone we, you know, we. I love it when I meet, like, people that are subscribed that we've never met before, you know, and that actually right. has happened. Like, you know, I could be at, you know, Good Time Charlie's or, Tom Ryan's and people come up and they start talking to me and they get excited um, and act like they know me. And the thing is, is they kind of do, but yeah, they're, it's just because they've been following us for years and they, they're, they know about the schedule right. and the videos. And that's like, that's pretty cool. Except when you're yeah. really tired and you just want to have that cocktail and not talk to anybody that happens on occasion oh, too. Right. <laughs> What's that cool thing? Maybe. I hear background noise. What's that fool's name, huh? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Roommate like, just got home. <laughs> hey, we're in the middle of an interview right now. Come on, guys. Hey, right. Brad. How you doing, buddy? Brad's been in lockdown for a couple weeks, too. I don't know if he's gotten out or not. Oh, Brad Maitland? Yeah, Brad Maitland. What's up, buddy? Let me uh, toss out some invites here. Maybe we can get some uh, <laughs> questions coming through from, oh, he was already here. Uh, you know, I'm going down the invite list and I guess he was halfway down. David, David Milton. God rest. Oh, you. man. Yeah. Yeah. That that's that, rough. Definitely missed. He's definitely missed. Oh, look at that. We got uh Ed Smith. That's my pop. Just joined. And there you go. And we got uh oh, my uh my aunt friend Rayo Briggs from uh Long Beach just joined. And of course I sent nice. them in So thanks for popping in, guys. Um <laughs> if you guys are still there, uh, I'll tell you what we're doing. So with the the lock-ins and the isolation and all you know the um what the heck is it called the uh, social distancing um i can't film like i normally do so we're going to be doing some uh um streaming like this and videos like this for a while and today's the first one and um uh, bill bogan is a, a longtime friend of myself and my family as well as the channel and it seemed only appropriate right. that he pop in for the uh, the first broadcast, especially since he's been on our channel more than any other musician. So we kind <laughs> of like him. He's okay. He's, he, we tolerate him. It's cool. Right. <laughs> yeah, fun times. I just can't believe like how much longer are we not going to be working? <laughs> you know? 
Like, I know, right? We, I mean, I still have this. But, I just don't know. Yeah, I yeah, see, that's the thing. I mean, the channel, the the channel on Facebook is you know a little something, but you know me, yeah. you know, get the gigs doing demos and photo shoots and everything. That's where my money is. So it's like, Boy, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's just it's crazy, you know. But hey, everybody, stay home. The, the, the sooner yeah. you stay home and you and, and you don't leave and that curve flattens, I'm hopefully there's not another wave, but then the sooner we can go back to our normal right. life. But, you yeah. know, I, I, I can't get enough of like when people pop up and, you know, they're mocking everything. I'm like, well, whether whatever you whatever it is that you're thinking, that's what the the officials and the and the the professional doctors and all this and the experts are saying. Um we're not going to like whether or not you agree with it life will not get, go back to normal until we play ball. Right. You know, I mean, you figure how many of our, you know, um, you know, interviews and, and whatnot, we've done, we've done everything on site together, whether it was here, Colorado, whatever, this is just how it's yeah. going to be for the moment. You know, trust me, I would much rather being Denver or Albuquerque shooting, you know, or hell, even Nashville, but, you know, just. Yeah, I was just going to say, we need to get you to Albuquerque to the Dirty Bourbon. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I, 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 and I was really prepared just to hit it when I was doing the, um, oh, the trip. What the heck? When we were, oh, when I was doing the, the press <coughs> stream or the press kit video. Hey, no coughing, dude. Just, oh, yeah. Yeah, no coughing. I know, right? <laughs> gonna freak out the audience. They're gonna leave. I no, know. so um, your eyes, yeah. But but yeah, so like you know, when I was doing the Prescott video, um, I was originally gonna go from there and head down Route sixty six into Albuquerque, but that's when I, you yeah. know, the, the chest problems and the breathing problems I had just went, you know, went real bad on me. I mean, yeah. I mean, right. I, I did twice, twice. I almost blacked out. I'm like, I probably need to go back to the valleys. And that was a bummer. Yeah. You know, I mean, I was struggling in Denver. If you remember, I just couldn't. Right. I remember that. Yeah. 30 some hours. I was awake. That was brutal. Right. Yeah. I don't want to do that again. I wonder where Rich went off. Not, Rich. What's that? I wonder if Rich ran off. Our viewers keep going great. up and down, up and down. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're not super exciting today. I don't know. No, I mean if we if we encourage it, maybe just maybe we could maybe push Bill to walk around in a two two. I don't know. What do you all want to see? And then there's that two second delay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Thousand one, thousand two, there it is. <laughs> I'll tell you that's Queen Creek uh internet for your data. But I, I have the same oh, problem. God. If I go to Norton's Country Corner and I'm gonna say shoot live, there is lag in Queen Creek for sure. It's just not it's not a very oh, big yeah. town. You know, they have um, you know, you, they only have so many towers and, and then, I mean, it's not a big town, but it's growing. So I, I would just assume that some nights, right. you know, it, or some days it's just not great. Like when we tried from your phone earlier, yeah. it was, you know, terrible. And then, you know, now it's, you know, not too bad. Right. Hey, Donnie Grubb just joined the chat. Hey, Donnie. Hey. For those of you who uh, don't know Donnie Grubb, we were mentioning him earlier um he had he's got the donnie. obviously donnie grubb band over um at a out of uh, apache junction and uh they play they're Great at the hitching post they're an awesome band um i i've only learned in the last couple of years just how talented donnie really is then on top of it they have their pod podcast too that he does with kit which is pretty cool yeah and he's really starting donnie actually uh Right. Yeah, yeah. I think Donnie actually co-wrote uh, "Son of a Gun" with Nathan and Harry Luge. Oh, did he? Is that true, Donnie? If he did, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, pretty sure it was Donnie. Oh, right on. Hey Donnie, would you uh you want you want to join in the chat? We invited Nathan, but he ignored us. He doesn't love us anymore. <laughs> and I have no problem with with teasing Nate. It's okay. <laughs> Here, let me let me send him uh oh he says he did so right. so he did help co yeah. that's what i thought nathan said that I, most nights but no. sure. i love that song i mean i featured that on a couple of videos of mine too yeah i know it yeah it's a great song donnie says he's naked at the moment <laughs> no really that's what he put in the chat like seriously i see it yeah Breaking news. Donnie Grove is naked. Right. Now he's going to kill me. He's going to be like, bro, you put that up on the screen. You know, I mean. Oh, and actually, I'm looking over at YouTube. Let me see if I can pull this up. They there's a problem with my channel that I keep thinking I've, I, I've got fixed and then I don't. And I'm looking now. Yep, still doing it. So they have me. For some reason, they keep listing us as a channel with kids content. I I, I just I don't understand that. I really don't. Um, yeah, I don't either. Well, I mean, we're 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 geared towards. Um, no, Donnie says. Call. Are you are you teasing me? Or are you teasing yourself? I don't know. But here, I'll send this over to you anyway. But yeah, so they keep putting me down as that, and it's like it doesn't make any sense. We're a, I mean, how do I explain? I mean, we're really kind of a twenty-one and over, you know, uh, channel. I mean, definitely. Yeah, definitely I mean, twenty-one and over. Well, in order to get to most of the, you know, the if well to look at the videos is one thing, but all the majority of the shows that we do you have to be 21 or over to, to even attend. So when we're vlogging to a show or something, uh, I mean, you have to be 21 or over to enter the event anyway. So why am I going to be entertaining um, yeah. children under the age of 13? And that's why we actually have, at the beginning of our videos, there is a disclosure. And if they have broken, if they're watching it, they've broken the, the YouTube's terms of service and we want them out. You know, because they're costing, because basically they're costing YouTubers money. Because what happens is, is they demonetize right. you and they turn off super chat, and it's like, um, guys, that's our that's that's our livelihood. So yeah, Donny, I sent you a link. You're welcome right. in the chat, buddy. Like I said, we invited Nate. Nate Nate didn't want to play. You know. Let's see here. It's almost. 440 it's 443 almost 445 i think the first show starts at what six o'clock something like and that then, yeah and so we have marble heart they're going live at 7 p.m uh we got denny kohler going live at 5 30 uh let's see here starting at eight o'clock we have jd and the black stallions and they're actually performing from the dirty drummer eating and drinking place and let's see here what else we got now there was one band i'm not going to say who it was but they were talking about how they their show was canceled but they were doing a live performance today between 4 and 4 30 um and they called the the virus the kung flu man it, calling calling it kung flu just drives me nuts because it's not a flu i just i can't i can't right. <laughs> just yeah now let's see what else do we have here um so we got jd no i don't see anything nathan was on last night i don't know who else is coming i'm sure there's going to be a oh joel mays i think is starting uh 10 o'clock oh donnie's gonna bail He's nice gonna Donnie, he he wants to, but he says he can't hang that long. Right on. Good to hear from you, Donnie. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Thanks for popping in. And uh, it looks like I, I invited Clint to the broadcast, 
And the only thing I've seen from him is he's sharing his 7 p.m. show like crazy right now. And he's good at that, too, on the, when it comes to the social media. He's all over the flyers. He's just, uh, oh, no. you know. Oh, hey, Donnie. See you soon, man. Thanks again for stopping hey, in. Yeah, thank you. But, yeah, he's like, when it comes to that stuff, he's like the master of getting the word out about his show. And he and he does a great job of packing the shows, too. I mean, it, I, I don't think yeah. I've ever been to um, a Marble Heart show that didn't have a crap ton of people there. It was, you know, I, I don't think that's yeah. ever happened. Well, they, they're a good band. They've been around for a while. You know, Clint's a great guy, you know. Yeah, Clint's awesome. All right, let's see what else we got going on the chat. All right. Well, it looks like we got rid of the troll, so that's a good thing. That's good. So what do you so in the meantime, do you have any plans on what how you're gonna get through this time period? I mean I'm I'm trying to I mean I myself I'm just trying to be as creative as possible. It's been kind of a nightmare. Right. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I really don't know, you know, if I've not been down this road before, so you know, I'm just taking it day by day, and you know, that's all I can do. Yeah, uh, it's just yeah, th these are some interesting, you know, definitely some trying times for sure. Yeah, you know, I mean, I I was talking earlier about some uh, YouTubers I follow, and there's one who's like a full time RV guy. He's really cool. And uh, he was in Texas, and then everything started getting canceled. So what he did was he decided he was going to head to Florida. Figured that was his best bet. Uh, get over there. Weather's decent and whatnot. Well, he gets there. Of course, it's hot. And um, he ends up in one of the counties that's in lockdown. So he's literally locked into this RV resort. Oh, geez. So he's there indefinitely. And here's a guy who usually doesn't stay anywhere for more than like three days, dude. Like that's pretty much right. like one to three days. That's it. And he's stir right. crazy. So he's posting on YouTube and Patreon like crazy. You know, Insta Instagram is me just trying to find stuff to do. Right. And speaking of which, have you been following, um, you know, every, you know, everything's going on in the count and everything like that, like a worldometer or anything like that? No, I haven't. Well, let me pull that up real quick here. Let's see. Well, let's see. As of the last count, you have 662,541 cases worldwide. Um, that's with uh, 30,839 deaths and 141,468 recovered. But the interesting thing is, and you know, you're here in you know, Arizona with us. You know, so we're at what right. the 123,311 nationwide. Okay, so yeah. let's see here. Let me look here. If I go down Arizona, okay. So a week ago, last week, a week ago Monday, we had 20 people, 20 victims. Now they're testing and everything like that, and of course, people want to keep running around. And of course, as soon as I bring this up, we lose a bunch of watchers. <laughs> but um, we're up to 773 cases. So that's in a matter of uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, about 11, 12 days. We've gone from 20 to almost 800. So, oh, did you hear about the, uh, the McDonald's employee over in Santan? Uh oh. Yeah, it was a McDonald's employee in Santan that tested positive. So, and that oh, means, really? yeah, that means all those people who were eating there were exposed to it. Yeah, which is yeah, huh. not good. Um, yeah. And then you have, um, I think they announced what, two days ago, they had an employee over at the Fries. Um, I think it's on Main and Mesa. Same thing. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you go to the store, you well, better. You saw that, uh, uh, crap, who's the country singer was just diagnosed with it? Uh, uh, not Keith Urban. Um, Luke Bryan. Keith Urban. 
No, it wasn't Luke Bryan. It was a uh, uh, 90s guy, Joe Diffie. Oh, Joe Diffie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm sorry, Joe Diffie. Yeah. Hang on, Joe Diffie. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Yeah, Joe Diffie was uh, diagnosed with it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who shared that. That's, but I think I thought there was another country singer though too, that also. Never mind. Um, yeah, Joe Joe Dibby's one I heard of. There could be another one, obviously. But let me check. I think I'm trying to think who it may have been. Um, I thought it was Luke Bryan. Let me look. Country singer. Uh, I want to mention the word in the stream because they're freaking out about that. Well, I definitely see Joe Diffie. That's all yeah. I see, right? Country singer. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, you know, I um, there's some people here in the area. I don't know if you know them per se, but I know I obviously I we know them, but uh, we know some people that have pest, tested positive as well um, in the Chandler area. And that's yeah, oh that's really. Like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of a bummer, and you know, we, you know, our prayers go out and our hearts go out to everybody, and that's why we tell, you know, say all the time, it's like, please just stay home, you know. It's, yeah, you know, otherwise, I mean, it's just again, it's not going to end, right? You know, to me, it's just it ain't worth it, you know, and you know, the but big thing to me is whether or not you catch it. You don't want to spread it to anybody else, whether you get sick or not. You know, just because you don't get sick doesn't mean you're not carrying it. Exactly. Well, and, and you know, when they say, you know, if you're sick, stay home. Well, you should do that in general, you know, but unfortunately with that, right. you don't necessarily, yeah, yeah, and people won't. I mean, that's the problem with, you know, especially in the U.S., you know, people get sick and then, you know, their employees are like, oh, well, we need you to come in anyway. And then, of course, they spread the flu. Right. You know? And in this case right. here, it's like you don't know if you have the symptoms for, like, I think, it's as much as 27 days in some cases. So they say the average incubation, incubation period is up to 15 days, but you can go up to a month. So, I mean, so yeah. if, you, if you're not aware that you're sick and you're out and about and you're going to Costco and Fry's and Kroger, right. or whatnot, um, you're you're potentially exposing everybody in the area it's just it's just it's horrible so i mean again that's why they're saying stay the hell home you know right let's see here oh melissa roberts joined hello hello again for anyone hey, it, it, you know feel free pop in ask questions bill doesn't bite i mean he will if you ask him but you know right yeah <laughs> oh, and as soon as I say that, a couple of people dropped again. That's funny. <laughs> again, I'm happy the trolls are gone, though. Okay, I mean, so, you know, right. I have a main screen here, so I can see the chats coming in from, like, Facebook or YouTube or anything, and there's just people from all over trolling us. Like, it, <laughs> And then I, I, I asked them to speak English, and then one of them decided to speak English and called me all kinds of names, and I'm like, Okay. Idiots. Yeah. Uh, I hate trolls. I think I I, I, I want to say I booed it like 15 people. Don't worry, it felt good. <laughs> right. Felt good. <laughs> all right. So all right. Well, I think uh oh, I think we've been at this for about an hour. And I have a feeling yeah. that the bands are gonna start um showing up here pretty soon with their live streams and i want to make sure they yeah, keep going. Yeah. yeah so for those of you who did come in appreciate you always good to see you yep, Again, definitely. Yep. um be sure to support bill um on venbo if you can and that's again at, at bill hyphen bogan and uh for us be sure to Thanks, like man. subscribe and follow then we're also on patreon.com forward slash country road entertainment you know Give us a like, support Bill, show us that you care, show us some love. We appreciate it. Stay at home and wash your hands. Yes, wash your hands. You know, 20 seconds, say happy birthday. How many times is it? Twice or three times? Right. You know, and it's funny because, you know, like 
you know, my kids, man, we got them trained perfectly, like for stuff like this. The only thing I had to teach yeah. my kid is like, dude, you gotta shake off your hands before you go to the hand towel because man, that hand towel is like dripping wet. <laughs> you know, it's like, like, bro, I can't change out a hand towel twice a day. You know, shake your hand, <laughs> um, you know, right. after you wash them. Like, I'm glad you can wash them and you're doing it right. But yeah, I need I need you to just before you start dry, right. make sure you're you're not dripping wet anymore. <laughs> So thanks for joining us, Bill. I appreciate it. Good time, Eddie. I appreciate it. Thanks for your support. Absolutely. Stay healthy, stay at home, and hopefully this is all over and uh, everyone can go back to work and start playing music. Sounds good. Thanks, man. Take care. You too, buddy. Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, folks, that's it. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Give us a like, drop a comment below, show us that you love us. And on Facebook, be sure to follow us on our uh, corporate page or business page, Country Road Entertainment. We do all kinds of neat videos and vlogs and what have you. Um, and during this time where we're practicing social distancing, you're going to be seeing more feeds like this. All right. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.